Hello and welcome to our video summarising all you need to know about Hitler and Nazi Germany. My name is Barbara and this video is the first part of a four-part video series where we examine Hitler, the man himself, his rise to power, the Nazi party, as well as the period known as Nazi Germany. So this was a very dark period indeed in German history, but one where it was a huge turning point. Now, in this first video, we'll be examining Hitler's early life and how this early stages of his life influence his leadership. However, in the second part of this series, we'll be examining who the Nazis were. In the third video, we'll look at the rise of Hitler to power in a political perspective, as well as Nazi Germany. And the fourth and final video in this series, we'll be looking at life in Nazi Germany, especially as it impacted women, young people, and critically, the Jews. This video is really useful if you're studying this section of history for your course or core exams. So let's get started. Now, Hitler was born in 1889 to middle class parents, Aloy and Clara. His father was really authoritarian and violent. However, his mother was overprotective and anxious. In the 1900, he went to secondary school and was reported as quite insolent. In other words, he was really naughty and quite disobedient. Even if he did fail in a majority of his classes and didn't do very well, the one subject that he did extremely well in was history, especially because of the focus on German heroic deeds and events. Hitler was an artist at heart. He loved art and his father, who didn't understand this, didn't promote this and as a result he clashed with his father over his early ambition to be an artist as well as his father's rejection from a historical perspective of pan-germanism this idea that german people are really superior according to history and this idea that germany in addition to other german-speaking nations like austria should be combined as one unified nation in 1903 hitler's father died and hitler himself was expelled from school in 1905, he left school at 16 and spent the next two years painting and essentially being idle. In 1907, Hitler applied to and was rejected by Vienna Academy of Fine Art. And this was also a very tragic year for him because his mother died. He was actually really close to his mother. Between 1910 to 1913, Hitler went to Vienna and of course the primary reason why he went there is because he wanted to develop a flourishing uh, career as an artist. Of course he was rejected several times, so it wasn't just once, he was rejected several times from the Vienna Academy of Fine Art. So during 1910 to 1913 he essentially made a small living from selling street art and he lived in a poor district where 17% of the people there were Jews. Perhaps we can argue that maybe it was during this time that he really developed this acute hatred for Jews. Indeed, Hitler himself recalls remembering a time when he saw a Jew in, and to quote his own words, a black kaftan and black hair locks. Now, after staring at his and what Hitler called his foreign face, he asked, is this a German? And of course, this later on did influence his policy during Nazi Germany towards Germans, which we'll look at. In 1913, at 24 years old, Hitler went to Munich and he tried to avoid military service. And of course, do you remember that 1913 was a year just before the onset of the First World War? In 1914, whilst trying to avoid military service, and Hitler did try to hide this later on during his political career, Hitler was discovered by Austrian military authorities and nearly charged with prison for evading military service. However, he escaped charges, he was very charming, and he would hide this fact about his early life from the public. In October 1914, the same year, he became a soldier and in a battle, his regiment lost 70% of its men. In other words, 70% of the men that he fought alongside during this war died. By the end of the war, he had become a corporal and was awarded the Iron Cross, so he did succeed and rise through the ranks. In 1918, which is the end of the First World War, and do remember, of course, that Germany was on the losing side, 
Hitler was really angry at Germany's decision to surrender and of course Germany's decision to sign the Treaty of Versailles which really effectively punished Germany. Do make sure you check out our other videos and especially the World War I treaties video where we do talk about how Germany was really severely punished as part of the Treaty of Versailles signature. In 1919, Hitler joined the right-wing DAP, known as the German Workers' Party. In 1920, this party was renamed the National Socialist German Workers' Party, and of course it later became known simply as the Nazi Party. Hitler was important in helping drawing up the 25-point program, which was essentially a fusion of nationalist ideas, socialist ideas, as well as racist ideas that formed the basis and the bedrock of the party's beliefs. In 1920, the SA formed under Ernst Röhm, and in 1921, Hitler became the chairman of the National Socialist German Workers' Party. In 1923, Inspired by Benito Mussolini's takeover as a dictator in Italy, Hitler tried to stage the Munich Putsch as a way to kick out the government and take over Germany. Of course, this putsch was unsuccessful and by 1924 he was imprisoned in Landsberg Castle. He was later released in December 1924, so by the end of that year. However, whilst in prison, he wrote, or even more accurately, he dictated while somebody else wrote for him, Mein Kampf, which was, of course, his seminal book, which would influence Nazi policy. In 1925, the first volume of Mein Kampf was published once he had been released from prison. A second volume was later published in 1926. In 1930, Nazis won significantly in the Reichstag elections in Germany. By 1933, Hitler had become Nazi, uh, Germany's Chancellor, and in 1934, Hitler had merged the offices of Chancellor and President into a title that he called himself, which was the Führer. By 1939, he had essentially declared war on the European Allies, starting the Second World War. And of course, again, Germany was on the losing side because by 1945, he was killed in the Second World War as it drew to an end.